all sorts, iron ore, oil and gas, payroll tax, land tax, stamp duty and GST are all down from forecast. In the first three months, revenue was down 7% or $446 million. At the same time, spending was up more than 5%. Making matters worse, WA got the smallest amount of GST it's ever received in a quarter. The system is busted. He's confirmed the budget deficit will be worse than the $2.7 billion forecast. The Treasurer, Mike Nahan, says the figures are a nightmare and all options are being considered. One of those options is a wage freeze. The Treasurer says that would be a last resort. We, we'll look at all sorts of issues uh, in, uh, that we have to do, uh, but uh, uh, and uh, a freeze is, is a possibility. The public sector union says its members have endured years of cuts and are in no mood for more. Really, this isn't good enough that the government are saying they have to impose cost measures, increase workloads, reduce jobs, sack people and then say that the remaining people have to have a wage freeze. That's ridiculous and our members wouldn't accept it. Mike Nahan says the wages bill in health is up more than 8% and says that sort of growth simply can't be sustained. WA's finances will be next updated in the mid-year review due in December.